Welcome to Tech with Others with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create expand or collapse parameter in SSRS report. This is very important when you have drill down report and you have a lot of groups and you would like to expand or see all the detail and the other way around you would like to collapse them back. So this parameter can be really handy and you do not have to do a lot of manual work. Now let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and create our report. I have already shared data source here so I'm going to use that one and we'll be using the report wizard to create this drill down report. Click on the reports tab, new report and the next our sales data source can be used here. So hit next and now we will write our query. So I'm going to call this one select asterisk from .total sale. Asterisk is not a good practice to use, but I don't care. My I have only 20 records, and this is just a demo. Now we go to the tabular and then hit next. And in the groups, I would like to have region and country. And in the detail, I would like to have sale person, first name, last name, product, and item sold. So next, and this is going to be stepped report. Okay, sub subtotals are good for me. I would like to see them and enable drill down is fine with me as well. So hit next, layout or the style. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep the uh, slate, fine. Next and give the name. So let's call this one drill down parameter. And preview the report, finish. Now our report is ready. We see that we have uh, group by region and country and we have plus sign here we can expand and by using this subtract or minus sign we can collapse them back so this is one thing i would like to have a parameter by clicking that parameter i would like to expand everything and if i would like to click it back i would like to collapse them back instead of i keep clicking here and here for the detail and if i have to go back i have to click each of these plus or minus sign again. So I would not uh, prefer that way. I would like to have a parameter. So let's go to design again and go to parameters, add parameter, provide the name of the parameter. I'm gonna call this one parameter underscore expand collapse. And uh, prompt, I'm going to call this one only expand. I would like to have this one as a Boolean. And now available values, Fine, I don't care about that. Go to default value. Let's provide a default value for expanded. So let's hit uh, true. So I'm gonna write true here. Hit okay. Now, if I will preview this report, uh, nothing is happening. Uh, expand parameter is uh, available. It is true, but it's not doing anything. So if I'll hit uh, false or true, it's not doing uh, anything. So the parameter is there, but we are not using this parameter in the anywhere in the report as of now so go to design again now we would like to come here in the row groups uh, and uh, go to the last detail group uh, right click uh, group properties and here you will be going to the visibility in the visibility you can see that uh, the data for this detail is toggling uh, by the country so when we click on country that's where we see the detail data and uh, in the first place it is uh, hidden we would like to write expression on this one click on the show or hide based on expression and hit expression button and here we will be writing uh, our expression so if uh, the parameter here is uh, true so what we would like to do we would like to have a false visibility and otherwise uh, when the parameter is false uh, we would like to have this one true so this is how it's going to work so we have if uh, here and if the values come in true the visibility is going to be false that means we will see all the records and if the value of this parameter is going to be false so we'll see this one then the visible visibility will be true so we are all good here we can copy this one and hit ok hit ok now go to the next level we have country come and go to the group properties and go to the visibility and do the same thing here so if you have a multiple subgroups so you will be doing on this one on all of them hit ok you do not need to write on the region as it is already expanded so we are fine and go ahead and preview our report so here you see that 
the default value for our parameter was true and you can see that the data is expanded all the way and we can see all the uh, data on detail level on country level and uh, on the region level so now if i hit false here and go preview report uh, sorry view report refresh it it will uh, be in the summary form so we can expand by ourselves if we would like or we can use this parameter so if i will go ahead and hit true and view report it will expand again if i will hit false view report it will give me the summary so i have to expand that again if i want to so that's how you will be creating a parameter that can by using just selecting one value you will be expanding or um, collapsing the entire report rows. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.